I think this year we're going to see a bit more of a pragmatic approach to using things like LLMs in the observability space. Hi, this is Yosapil Bharti and welcome to our yearly predictions series. And today we have with us once again, Tom Wilkie, City of Grafana Labs. Tom, it's great to have you back on the show. Great to be back. Thank you for having me. Of course, I'm going to ask you to pick up your crystal ball and share your predictions with us. But before that, quickly tell us what is Grafana Labs all about? in this modern world? Grafana Labs is the company behind the open source Grafana project, uh, but also one of the biggest contributors to Prometheus. And with all of these open source technologies, we've built a observability platform called Grafana Cloud. Really allows you to understand the behavior of your infrastructure and your applications. Um, and yeah, it's becoming very popular. So it's, uh, it's quite an exciting time to be at Grafana Labs right now. Excellent. Thank you. Now it's time for you to grab your crystal ball. I'm pretty sure that your crystal ball is also fully open source. And tell us what predictions you have for us this year. Uh, three predictions for you this year. Um, my first one is we made a lot of gains last year in kind of managing cardinality and costs for metrics. Uh, I know that was one of my predictions, I think, when I was on last time. And we really, I think, delivered well on that. What I'm really looking for in the next year is as applying a similar approach to logging, right? Logging volumes in the past, you know, 20 years have grown out of control. I think there's a huge amount of room for uh, automatically detecting the logs you need, the logs you don't need, and applying all sorts of techniques to reduce the amount of storage for your logs. I think my second, you know, it wouldn't be, a, it wouldn't be an observability prediction if I didn't mention open telemetry. So I think a lot of people last year predicted that open telemetry, you know, would rise to mainstream in 2023. Um, so you might be thinking, well, what's next for open telemetry? I think we're going to see technologies like Prometheus. Obviously, I'm pretty biased. I think Prometheus is awesome. But I think we're going to see Prometheus really become the best metric system for kind of storing and processing your open telemetry metrics. Like there's some really exciting stuff going on in that community. I'm really looking forward to it. I think the other thing we're going to see in open telemetry is support for continuous profiling in the protocol natively alongside metrics, logs, and traces. So I think we're going to see uh, it's an exciting time for open telemetry, and I'm really looking forward to wider adoption in the coming year. Final one from me, uh, and it wouldn't be a prediction for 2024 if we didn't mention AI. So, uh, But I, I think this year we're going to see a bit more of a pragmatic approach to using things like LLMs in the observability space. We've seen some fantastic gains using them um, to reduce toil, to, to kind of improve user experience. And hopefully some of the hype will go away and we'll see the, uh, the real use cases for this technology. What kind of challenges, either challenges from last year will still creep into 2024 or new challenges that you see will emerge for the market ecosystem and even player like Grafana Labs to help customers, you know, kind of tackle these challenges? I mean, you, you've said it really, like we are super open about our ambitions for the next year. We're, we're, we're really like put our cards out there and as a, open source first company, like we develop in the open, like it's very easy to see what we're working on, but yet we still like to kind of under promise and over deliver. So our big challenge is really, I think, meeting these, uh, these predictions and bringing this software, you know, to a mainstream audience, all whilst, you know, all against the backdrop of kind of, you know, responsible growth and like careful investment, right? This is, uh, we're not out of the tough macro times yet. Budgets are still tight for everyone. And like, yet we're still ambitious about the kind of technology we want to bring to market. Looking at these challenges, looking at these predictions, what is going to be the focus of Grafana Labs this year? I think our main, our main focus, if I could only have one, I mean, I, you know, we're a, we're a big team. I want to have like five focuses. But if I could only have one, I would pick kind of ease of use, right? Like the, this growth in open source technology has been great for scale, has been great for adoption. Like it's really driven innovation in this space. But it has presented itself with some usability challenges, right? Especially of these more advanced use cases, you know, you need to be an expert in Prometheus or in, in open telemetry or in Grafana to really get the best of your data. So this coming year, our focus is to make these advanced use cases like accessible to a mainstream audience, right? We really want to kind of tame the complexity and observability on top of delivering on, you know, better better cost performance with your logs on top of like delivering all the AI features we previewed uh, at the end of last year and of, on top of of course being the the best open telemetry solution out there so you know 
give me give me five or six focuses like i'm never satisfied with one tom thank you so much for sharing these predictions with us and as usual i would love to have you back on the show thank you thank you so much thank you